in Rational Team Council 2012. Source Control has a very cool new way to search for change sets. It is very easy to find out which streams or workspaces contain certain change sets related to certain work items. This feature is available in the Eclipse client, the Visual Studio client, and the uh, C command line interface. So here how it goes. You have you open a work item. Here's a task. You switch over to the links tab. Um, you see a bunch of change sets associated to that work item. You can select one or multiple of them. Right click and you can open up a new editor. The, select the locate change set actions. So the editor comes up and it shows up the uh, change set that I have selected. And it shows them is it's work item aware, so it shows them in the context of the work item that they are associated to. Then what I can do is I can decide to search for into a if these change sets are available in a particular stream. So I'm gonna search into our integration stream here. And it gives me right away the answer. So it found that this change set, these three change sets that I have selected from the work item are available in artist integration stream. Um, now I can also search into a, I can do a broader search very easily. I can easily add workspaces and flow targets shown in the pen in changes view. So this represents uh, workspaces and streams that I frequently work with. And um, the results have been updated live. So now I can see that my workspace and the stream that I flow to also contain this uh, change set. Or I can do a broader search. I can actually search for all the streams in the project areas and team areas that I am a member of. So that found about 58 streams here. So I can see the list of streams sorted alphabetically. Um, I can also sort the results so I can find which streams have matches and which streams don't have any match. If I am interested in knowing which team areas uh, contain most of the contains the streams with matches or the ones with no match, I can switch over to this uh, hierarchical view here. So I switching from the flat view to the hierarchical view, and now it's showing me the same streams, but in their in uh, in a relationship to their uh, owner. So a stream is owned by a project area or a team area. So I can quickly see that the Jazz collaboration, Collaborative Alm doesn't contain streams with this change set. Uh, same for Jazz Support. Rational Team Concert uh, contains contains uh, some of that. So the uh, the 2x maintenance team area contains none of these change sets. So none of the streams uh, that are part that are used to maintain the 2x version of RTC contains these change sets. And the same for 3.x, uh, none of the streams there uh, contain these change sets. On the other hand, in the RTC development, um, the, uh, these change sets have been found. So this tells me that this, uh, this feature here that I'm looking at uh, as is available in the current release, but it's not available in the previous releases. And the other cool thing I can do is, um, so I can invoke this action wherever I see a change set, also wherever I see a work item. So previously I was selecting a bunch of change sets here. Now I can click on the work item menu itself, and you can see that I have the locate change sets showing up as well. And what it does is that it selects the work item and finds out all the change sets associated to that work item and is going to include them into the search. But there's more. I can show child work items. So this is pretty useful when you're searching for plan. So let's try that. So I'm opening the pl a plan item here. Plan item is very high level. Uh, they typically not. Um, doesn't contain change sets directly associated to it. Instead, it's going to have child work items that are going to break up um, the feature into uh, different parts that can be managed by different developers or different teams. And um, I'm 
as a manager, as a relaunch person, I want to track how the uh, progress is going into these different parts that are managed by children of this plan item. I can simply right click on the menu of the plan item and select Locate Chain Sets. This opens the uh, Locate Chain Sets editor. I'm going to check the Show Child Work Items option and it's now going to the server to uh, search about the um, uh, child work items of, uh, of these plan items and it has found 63 work items. It has found 101 chain sets associated to these uh, child work items and it even is even telling me that uh, these chain sets belong to nine different components. So this was really a cross team effort uh, re uh, necessary to implement that uh, big plan items here. If I expand in the editor itself, at some point I'm going to see actual uh, chain sets. So this is a chain set from a particular story, from a particular task, and here's another one. And um, this one is um, more work over there that was related to this plan item. So I can search again uh, into um, workspaces and streams that I am currently working with um, in my pending changes view, and um, the results show up. So 74 out of 101 chain sets can be found. The tooltip is going to uh, give me a preview of the results. So I'll be able to find out which chance sets were found, but also very interesting, which chance sets were not found. So maybe because this one, maybe I want to, uh, to consider them for a future, um, maybe I want to backport them, I want to include them in the future. Or maybe I want to deliver them to that stream in the future. Uh, the tooltip is nice for a preview in place, uh, but you can also open up into the uh, search results so you will have uh, more, uh, you will have the same information available there. So it will give you the list of work items and chain set that were included and the one that were not included. And after that, you can right click on the chain set in the search result and you can open the chain explorer to look into the details of the change or you can accept the, the change set into your workspace and so forth. Um, the other cool stuff you can do um, is run a work item query. So, for example, you can run a work item query that is going to return all the um, work items that you have fixed in the current release or the work items that you have fixed in the previous release or the ones that your team or your organization has fixed. And uh, you get the results in the work items uh, view. You can select all these work items, right click, and we also have put, we have put the locate chain sets action right there as well. So it's available wherever you see a, a list of chain sets, list of work items. And after that, uh, I right click on that. And this is now opening the editor on these 144 work items. It's looking up all the chain sets associated to these work items. And I will be able to do a search on all the chain sets associated to all these work items. I could even include the child work items if I, if I decide that's useful. And I can do a search on the uh, workspace and stream that I work with frequently, uh, the ones in the team areas and project areas that I am a member of, or I can do also things like um, um, from the we have uh, awareness with the team artifact in a team artifact view, so I could drag and drop um, the uh, project area from a team artifact or a team area, and it's going to uh, include that's going to include all the streams. Uh, part of this project area or team area and it's going the results are coming up right through live uh, If in some cases uh, I really have to do a, a broad search so I can clear up the input here I can refine the, the search very easily because There's a lot of flexibility on how you, you can use this uh, this editor uh, I can also do a repo wide search so you only want to do that if you really have to, because that's going to give you a lot of noise. Uh, but if you have a use case that you really want to know where all these chain sets have flowed to, uh, sometimes you have to do that. And uh, it's finding all the streams in the repository, and it's giving back the result. And uh, so this feature is also available in the uh, Visual Studio client. So here's the Visual Max, uh, the Rational Team Concert client for Microsoft Visual Studio. And uh, I've opened the uh, locate chain sets on a particular work item here. And uh, here are the chain set associated to that uh, work item. And uh, I was looking for single stream arts integration. And it found uh, 14 chain set out of the 15 one. 
and uh, this feature is also available uh, in the command line in the CLI. Uh, in that case, what you do is you use the new command. It's called SEM change set locate, and you can easily search uh, for a list of change sets or a list of uh, change sets associated to a bunch of work items, and then you specify the work item IDs. You can scope the search to a project area, a team area, or you can provide a list of snapshots and workspaces. So in Rational Team Concert 2012, wherever you can see a change set or work item, you can right-click and select Locate Change Sets Action. Thank you.